Hello, you join me once again from my swivel chair because I'm still working on the inside of the van. I've been uh, experimenting some more with this aluminium extrusion and these uh, right angle connectors, uh, which as it turns out are very good at making camper van furniture. So I just thought I'd give a quick update on that really. So this time around I wanted to build my kitchen and someone to store my gas bottles. I'm starting off with gas because I want to see how feasible it is to go from gas to electric at some point and gas being as expensive as it is right now seems like quite a relevant thing to explore so let me show you what I've been up to. So my idea with the aluminium is to create two separate subframes that are bolted together but serve two different functions. So the bottom frame is designed to hold the bottled gas and the idea would be that the bottom frame would be bolted to the floor of the van and then the bottled gas would be lashed to the frame which would keep them secure while you're driving along. What we can then do is use the grooves in the aluminium to clad the frame in this 3mm plywood and in much the same way we can then add a door that will keep the gas bottles contained. What I've then done is model these hinges that can be 3D printed and will allow the door to open and close freely and then what I've also done is design a handle that is also a magnetic latch so it doesn't open unexpectedly while you're going along. And then lastly what we can do is just use some 12mm plywood as our stove top and as a generic storage shelf underneath and add our gas stove on top which we can connect to our gas bottles underneath. So now let's see how well this translates into the van. So you can see what I've done is just assemble the aluminium into this nice sturdy subframe and cladded it with 3mm plywood which you can do with these handy plastic inserts you just go in the slot of the aluminium and then you can fit your plywood nice and snugly and then it doesn't rattle about while you're going along so once we've done that we can take our butane bottles and stick them in there and then cover it with a door piece that I made in the same way so you can see with the door attached, that makes the frame a lot more neat and tidy. I managed to 3D print some hinges on the ends here, so it can open freely. But I also managed to 3D print a handle, which is also a magnetic latch, so it doesn't open unexpectedly. And inside, we have our gas bottle, which is perfect. So now, we can start thinking about the kitchen. So same again, we've got our aluminium subframe. This will be our stove top. But I've bolted the lower frame using these 3D printed tabs in each corner. And I've also cut a piece of 12mm plywood to be a shelf. It will sit over our gas bottle. I've then cut Another piece of 12 more plywood, which you can stick on top of that and bolt to the frame, and then attach our stove to the top, like so. So, then the last thing to do is just to connect our gas hose to the stove and route it to our gas bottle underneath. And then we're all done. So there is the finished product. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. And I'll leave a link to my website and an article I'm writing in the description below. Thanks for watching.